Greetings from the land of Canada. My name is Nuch, and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft Season 6. And today, we're gonna go mining to get some diamonds. And hopefully some levels, because we just got one shot by an iron golem. I was like, just goofing off. I was trying to get my level 30 in chance. I hit this guy, and he one shot me. He just one shots me, this guy. Like, what's your problem? I could also 1v1 this guy. Cool. Get over here, sir. What? I'm not I'm not gonna do it again, but like What the heck? How do they do that? It's like a they're, they're on like super ultra mega hard mode now. They changed that. It was on easy before and they changed it. So I mean he literally one shot me with full HP, full iron armor. I mean I guess this is my this is my cue to to you know go ahead and uh you know, gear up a bit. Let's get it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay, we're, we've got the upgrades. Finally, we made it. All right. We'll keep the Death Strider on for now, actually. Because it works super well for what we're about to do. Which is going mining and we're gonna have to do it in the middle of the lake again because it's kind of hard to find uh, places to mine all right cool so we're kind of ready I think this is pretty much what we just need uh, let's put this there to start we got the coal all right all right all right let's go let's get started okay 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 hold on hold the phone I've got a token I should be using it uh, do I have slash craft? Can I get slash craft or is that like the last one you get? Nope, it's the first one you get. Fantastic. Alright, I think that's the first one we're going to get, but we're going to see where else we can get. 10% chance of doubling, not worth it. 10% of passively dodging, not worth it. 10% XP from mobs, not worth it. Lose 50% less food, that's super worth it. But I think that's going to be the next one we get after slash craft. Slash craft is amazing. Alright. Slash home again. That's amazing. That's so good. I love slash craft actually. Oof. All right, Depth Strider. Who's ready to go swimming? Oh man, why is there obsidian here? <laughs> this is so weird. You know what's one thing that I kind of that I kind of want? I kind of want. Uh, water breathing. Um, the you can make those with uh, turtle helmets, right? Turtle helmets are like super cool. All right, how do we make those actually? Is are those within the realm of my crafting right now? Because I've heard about them, I've never actually used them though. So I wanna I wanna see if that can be something that we do this episode. So I can get it. All right. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Oops. Man out of breath. Cause that would make that would make these these uh, expeditions a lot easier. Uh, can't really check these just yet, cause I, I guess I don't have the turtle unlocked. But like, this is my guy. What do I do? It's just a turtle. I feel so bad killing it. All right, I'm killing it. Look at him, he's flipping out. He has nowhere to go. He's too slow. See, he just gave me seagrass. And now I feel awful. Oh, but there's more of them. Okay, okay. <laughs> so how do you guys get the turtle helmets? Is it a rare drop? And I have to, like, fight them with looting? Which I could do that. I could easily go back and some looting. You need baby turtles. Can I feed these guys? I can. Advancement made. The parrots and the bats. Interesting. Are they gonna get baby turtles now? Little baby turtles. You can get them from fishing too, just like super rare fishing stuff. All right, I feel like this is gonna be a project for another time because it looks like they had uh, they had their moment and now they're just kind of bored again. They didn't feel like having an offspring. All right. Alright, we shall return to that in due time, but for now, we gotta 
Gotta do a little bit of strip mining, I think. I'm wondering if this is the same one that I had that was at before. It doesn't look like it. It looks way different. This looks crazy. This looks so weird. This is the weirdest ravine I'd ever seen, actually. This is the weirdest cave system. I mean, I guess we, we're, we're good for exploring it since we have uh, all of these open areas. But how deep am I right now? I'm on 16. This is like potential diamond level for us. We already got lapis. Okay, this is hype. I actually really enjoy getting lapis. Uh, I'm going to silk touch it. Because we can get more value out of it later. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, we're actually on diamond level right now. It's pretty pretty neat. Maybe we can just randomly run into some and find it. That's kind of hype. Yeah, doors. I guess I can make doors. Does I have like one, one or two doors? Three or four doors? Hold the door? I don't know. I've actually never seen a single episode of, uh, what is it called? That show. That show everybody likes and knows and talks about. And the one I just quoted. Yeah, that one. I can't even remember the name because I have that, like, least amount of interest in it. Game of Thrones. That's it. Never seen that show. Alright, well, there was, like, di not diamonds, but, uh... Here, let's put the door here. I can't believe they still let this happen. It's so weird. I mean, it works though. Barely. Because I can't see anything, but... That's okay. Alright, and uh, we can pick up the door and move on. This is sweet. I could strip mine and just throw out the cobble, but uh, this is more fun. I find this is like, uh, it might not be the most efficient way, but it's uh, definitely more fun. I like uh, seeing the different, uh, like a change of a change of scenery. When you strip mine, it all looks the same. And I'm actually getting a pretty solid amount of uh, iron. Never mind. I th felt like it was more. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to pick it up at some point. Also, we can do this glitch. This is a fun glitch. A little fun bug. Fun lighting bug. Where you can, you can see in the water. Like very clearly. You know? It's a neat lighting bug. Alright. Man, doors actually make this so much easier. Cheers to Twitch chat. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the recommendation to use that. I know a pro tip when I can see it. Dude, work's been good. Work's been fun. There's some uh, changes up in the uh, organization that's going on right now in the different teams. So uh, I was I was asked if I wanted to stay in my present uh, team, and I was like, uh, yeah, you know what? It, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice, you know what I've what I've got going right now. It's um, I'm on the progression team, so the game that we're playing it's just natural progression that we're doing. So there's no cheats, uh, there's no test cases that we have to do like. Uh, there's no, there's no like release candidates. It's just they're like, yeah, we get it. You're good at the game, so we're gonna let you progress so that we can give the stats to the developers and they'll see, uh, they'll see how you progress and they'll, uh, they'll, they'll like value my opinion if I have feedback. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick on progression squad. Hashtag progression squad. All right, we're gonna try some strip mining after this. It's because I feel like we're not getting any of the rare resources that we want. Uh, we're at 19 right now. Let's actually just start from here. All right, let the mining begin. And what did we learn from our last strip mining episode? What did we learn? What's the best level to strip mine at? Come on, guys. You all know this. Six. We used to think it was 12. And to be honest, 12 is probably still pretty good. 
but our insider scoop sources have suggested six and to be honest it worked out for us last episode it was like we are seeing no we are seeing no uh, diamonds whatsoever and then once we started on six we got so many so we're just gonna go for that oh here it comes bruh so like quick like wow like instant just instant instant transmission from the pickaxe to your hand the diamonds exist all right we got to be extra careful with these since they're directly touching at a lava lake okay these ones can be silk touched All right, there were only two. However, we will take it. We will take it. Yes, we will. The one block strip mining with a water bucket? <laughs> that sounds pretty hilarious. I'm not going to lie. One block strip mining? I kind of like this strategy, though. I feel like I cover a lot of ground. The only thing is, I don't have the results. I really, like, this feels like it really, like, you get to see a lot of blocks. And you get a lot of, like, uh, reasons to see, like, new, like, areas with it. But I don't know what I'm saying. You just get to see, you get to see a lot of new areas with it. Because of the way that uh, it works in terms of just being able to see volume. But, I mean, I can definitely see a case for like just the straight one block strip mining with a water bucket. How does that work though? Cause how would you just be able to have the water? If, like you wouldn't have to go back for it every single time. Is it just like a one-time thing that you do? Here, let's, uh, let's actually do it. Let's, uh... dude, I love slash craft so much. Wow. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see what it. Let's see what'll happen if we do this uh, one block. Cause this could be hilarious. Yeah, it already seems like it's hilarious. How do you enter swim mode? Oh, you press sprint. Aha. Aha. Okay, okay, we got it. We got it. So is this what you guys mean? This is hilarious. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is hysterical. The fact. <laughs> What's <laughs> up, <Sup>, bro? <laughs> oh, man. This is so good. Holy smokes. Let's go. This is like the funniest thing ever. Yeah, going to F5. Yeah, I know. It's hilarious. That's actually so funny. And I just have to cover that up so I don't fall into it by accident. This is a, this is an exploit. This is an exploit if I've ever seen it, man. Like, oh man, dude, new, new mechanics, new exploits. <sighs> so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this before and it's so cool. It feels so legit. It's like, uh oh, it feels so legit. You're just like crawling. You go from swimming to crawling mode. Uh oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh man. This is what I've been missing in Minecraft. This is the best thing. Now we just need to find a boatload of diamonds and it would be all worth it. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie, this is awesome. I mean, it looks like you're doing the swimming animation. Let's go exploits! Oh, this is so legit. I just like to imagine right now I'm just like a really like short like dude. 
And these are just massive walls that I'm pummeling through with my, uh, with my pickaxe. And like, for some reason my torches are enormous. And I just have to live with it. Cause this is the life I chose. It was bestowed upon me. And I decided to go with it. This is cool though. Cheers to whoever uh, uh, recommended this uh, this little exploit. Not gonna lie, it's hilarious. <sighs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop the uh, we're gonna stop the bug once we find diamonds. That's my condition. That's my one condition. Aha, All right. So once we find diamonds, then we're gonna call it for uh, for this little strip mine. This is really funny. Oh. Yeah, it's also better for torches. <laughs> hey, you okay, Nooch? What are you doing, man? He's like he looks like you looks like you fell. Looks like you kind of need to work on your your balance. Oh yeah, no, this mining thing is cool, but you definitely miss a lot of diamonds. Which is why I'm going to quit your glitching in a minute. I just think this is too funny not to do for a little bit longer. And I feel like having this succeed would be so meme worthy. It's like just fully glitch into diamonds. Like, <laughs> let's get it, you know? We can do it. I believe. No. All right, we're gonna go back to uh, we're gonna go back to sane people mining, <laughs> cause uh, this was fun. Don't get me wrong, that was that was kind of hilarious, but we kind of need to do this. I think this is definitely the strategy of uh, digging on the sides like this. And uh, above as well, just to cover as much ground, and it's uh, it's efficient. So it's uh, it's not that it's the fastest way of doing it, which even then it's still pretty quick. It's that uh, we can find uh, we can cover more area, and we could be more resourceful in in terms of like uh, our torches because we don't have to use as many of them. Let's go diamonds. All right, one little batch of diamonds is all we really want uh, before we can call it, I think, just for this strip mining expedition. Strip mining is so, like, it's just so the same. Like, I wish there was ways that, uh, like, can we buy diamonds from spawn? That's the thing, that's the thing that you want. You want armorers from, uh, from villagers. That's why I was looking for uh, mainly when I was checking out the villagers before is that we need to figure out uh, how to make the armor uh, Villagers you can just go into the, like the Wikipedia page and tell them which and you could like learn which uh, which jobs they need for that but You want to be able to trade to, to get diamonds diamond armor and Then you just disenchant them and you have a fresh set of diamond armor. It's like really good. Nothing here. Nothing over there. Oh, what the? Miss Diamonds. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was hype. Nobody saw me miss those diamonds. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good on resources. Let's see how uh, many coal blocks we have. Not entirely sure that's enough yet. Alright, now we've got to have enough. Okay. 
Well, this was pretty successful. Wasn't as successful as our last ones, but we kind of made it. Kind of made it. Kind of mission accomplished. Diamond ore. Nice. Nice. Now, coal blocks. I already have some up there. It's already in the making. I think we have exactly enough for this, for this part. Ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, okay, cool. I think we're good. Oh, that's so high. The base is starting to look pretty cool. I just need to do some extra sides to it. Oh, it's difficult. We need wool. We need to find the dude. The man with the plan, whoever's got the sheep farm. We gotta snag some wool. Let's snag it. All right, all right. Where are my shears? I'm going on, I'm going on an adventure. Also, don't you get angry at me, you, you little slimy spider, you. Yeah, look how much fun he has in my base. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Alright, on to find the, the sheep. Let's get him. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's there's some sheep. There's not sheep. What the heck? Be careful, they bite. It's Beepo. Okay, okay. These are the sheep we're looking for. Look like the white wool sheep. No, 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 the pink sheep are welcome here. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna dye the sheep just outside my house uh, blue. I just got that idea from that. Make it a bit easier. We'll just get a recurring source of that. Uh, it doesn't look like many people are using sheep right now. Thirty x sheep. Oh. Hey, how do I get down there? Oh, nice. We found it. Whose base is this? Jeffrey the Snowman? Okay. This place is nice. He's got his own villagers. Oh, do these guys sell armor? Payment chest, two emeralds per visit. Okay, well, I mean, I gotta respect it, but... Uh, there's no, there's no, uh, payment for this one. So we're gonna sneak in and just... Scoop! <laughs> now they're over there. Hey, that's nice. Okay, there's no way... No, it's like this, right? Well, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need the blue dye first, of course. Wow, it's one for one. Alright, we can work with that. It's Alex's village dungeon. Yeah, I know I could dye the sheep blue. I'm not going to do that to his, uh, to his sheep, though. I just wanted to... I just wanted the wool. This is super useful. Uh oh No! All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go, Alex. Ah, million cookies. What a guy. What, a, what an upstanding gentleman. Can't believe he's actually been killing it on YouTube. That that blows my mind. He's been doing stuff for so long, and like finally, it's just like poof, took off. Good stuff. Yo, the glass really needs to be a part of my base, I think, just because it's so scary walking around. But, like, I'm digging where we're going with this. It is coming along pretty nice, actually. Uh, kind of thinking about where we want, what direction we want to take this, because uh, I like the variety so far. And uh, we're, we're going to end up using a lot of wool, I think, for, uh, for most of the colors. But... Uh, 
we also gotta like sort of flex, you know, like we gotta have like a, like something made out of slime, you know, just be like, yeah, that's right. I've got uh, uh, $8,000 uh, worth of, uh, of slimes just chilling in a corner, you know, just because I want, just because I want dog. Anyways, uh, I think that's good for today's episode. Honestly, we got some stuff done. Uh, we lost a little bit of progress on our levels, but nothing a little AFK and can't fix. And uh, I'm going to go do that right now, actually. Why did I store it all in there? <laughs> I'm going to go and do that right now. I'm going to go AFKing while subjecting myself to the the cruelty of NA Dota. <laughs> oh man, NA Dota though. Oh yikes. I think the best way of dealing with that sort of stuff is you just call them out on it every chance you get and don't let them think that they're they're being any less of a shitbag that they are. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's for a different time. That's for a different time. That's for a video for later. Uh, I think that Blazefire might be done editing that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's uh, started yet, but I'm going to put my own little warning at the beginning with some text that uh, says the um, the situation of that, that video before it gets started. So, um, Yeah, strip logs, maybe, if that's a cool color. But, Anyways, hope you guys all enjoyed. Thanks all for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Peace out.